Good morning, Bethlehem First, and welcome to the Weekly Wings Update. This week in worship, October is Pastor Appreciation Month, and today is Pastor Appreciation Sunday. Pastor Frank, Pastor Beth, and Pastor Megan do so much more than what we see on Sunday mornings. If you've been blessed by their faithful obedience, be sure to let them know. Sending them an email, text, message, or a handwritten card will mean more to them than you can imagine. We are on the last week of our Not A Fan series. Next week, we'll start a new series on what it means to be generous. If you aren't able to join us today, you can always watch later on our YouTube channel, website, or Facebook page, all of which are linked on our link tree. The Clubhouse Kids are learning all about individuality, which is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. Today's fellowship meal is decorate an angel food cake. Next week's fellowship meal will be fried bologna and fruit. Remember, we will not have any children's evening activities tonight, but we will have kids' choir and child care available next Sunday evening. You can access these lessons at home on our YouTube channel or website, which are both linked on our link tree. For more information on what's happening in our kids' ministry, feel free to reach out to me. The Rooted Youth will continue to meet on Sunday mornings at 9.30 through the fall, except for the following dates. For more information on what's happening in youth, contact Matt Brown. Found people find people. Being intentionally invitational is key to living out our faith as disciples of Christ. Because we aren't meant to do life alone. And what better way to spend time with friends than at the gym? Our fitness center has several awesome classes for you to attend throughout the week for just $3 per class without a membership or free with your month-to-month paid membership, which also gives you access to our amazing equipment upstairs. For more information on joining, reach out to Anissa Sullivan. Be sure to invite your friends to our upcoming Holiday Bazaar next month. We will have over 100 craft and food vendors for you to shop with. Unfortunately, we have no additional vendor space available for this event. And we still have invite cards for you to hand out available on your way out of service. Growing people change. We have several grow groups meeting throughout the week for you to plug into including a ladies' Bible study, which will be returning on Thursday mornings at 9 a.m. beginning Thursday, October 21st, as well as a Sunday morning grow group that meets during the 9.30 service to discuss our sermon series, Not a Fan. And we are now offering a live online prayer time on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. through Facebook. And beginning today, we are having cinnamon rolls in the courtyard between services at 10.30 every second Sunday of the month. Our travel club is also taking reservations for their upcoming trip to Charleston in March of next year. Be sure to reach out to Ron Agnew or Wanda Doster for more information. If you need help plugging into a group, reach out to Pastor Megan. Saved people serve people. For the month of October, we are collecting candy for our upcoming fall festival, which will be held on Sunday, October 24th from 5 to 7 p.m. We are also collecting additional items. You can find the sign up for these items as well as ways you can volunteer at the event to make it fun and memorable for all on the link tree. We are also in need of many volunteers to help provide respite for foster families with Hope Connects on Monday, October 18th. We need many hands to help feed and entertain children of all ages here in the building while the adults enjoy a quiet dinner together. You can sign up to help purchase food, serve food, help with cleanup, or work with the children on the link tree. The worship chairs have taken over 10 years of sitting, and now it's time to upgrade. Between the Holiday Bazaar fundraising efforts and matching trustee funds, we are still a little shy on funds. Please consider purchasing a chair for $60 to help us reach our goal. All donations are welcome. Be sure to mention that it's for the Worship Center chairs. And we're always looking for greeters and volunteers to run the slides, sound, and cameras in the tech booth in both services. Please reach out to Pastor Megan if you'd like to serve on Sunday mornings. No need to worry about trying to remember all of these announcements. You can access them along with all of our signups and other important links on our link tree. And that concludes our weekly Wings update. Have a great week!